Well, hi everybody again, it's Robert Barber from the Moeller and Barber Real Estate Team in Coastal Properties and Christie's International Real Estate. Just reaching out for you again. I'm sure by now that you are getting a ton of phone calls from different realtors because your property has come off the market. I want to spend a few moments today in this email and in this short video helping you pick that next realtor. And it's very important to spend the time to interview just as if you were interviewing someone, whether you're interviewing an attorney or a financial planner or even interviewing someone for a job uh, to take the time to really ask the right questions. And so I'm going to go over 10 questions here real quick that you definitely want to include when you're interviewing your next realtor to get your property sold. So number one is, what is your list price sales price ratio in the last 60 days? So what is the negotiation impact that that realtor is having for their client? What is your average number of days on market? Is it less than 90 days? How long is it taking that realtor to sell a property? Number three, what is the absorption rate of homes like this in your area? Absorption rate means how fast are homes just like yours selling in the area? That'll give you a good idea or a gauge of how long it should take for your property to sell. Of the listings, what didn't you sell last year and why didn't it sell? It's a good question to talk about what didn't sell and why it didn't sell. That's definitely an important one. Number five, what percentage of deals did you represent buyers versus sellers? It's good for a realtor or real estate team to have a balance of buyers and sellers that they can bring to the table for you because it means they know both sides of the transaction. Number six, how many homes did you sell last year? Number seven, can you give me a list of 10 clients that I, that I can call? Don't be afraid to ask for testimonies or um, client refers to call. Number eight, do you do any other type of work other than real estate? It is important to hire a realtor that does this as a full-time job, not a part-time job. Number nine, how many people do you speak with each day about the real estate business? And what that means is what's the network? What is the size of the network of that realtor? Do they have a large reach? Can they get to the right people to buy your home? And number 10, can you show me a copy of your daily schedule and or your marketing plan that would be for my property? So those are 10 things that you want to use when you're interviewing the next realtor because I'm sure by now you're getting lots of phone calls. So feel free to take a look at our email. If you have any questions, reach out for our team. We'd love to help you and um, we'll continue to follow up. If uh, you need anything else, just let us know. Thanks. Thank uh you. -huh.